Hey everyone, so this is Ian, the College Web Pro. Um, I'm going to give you um, the first lesson of how to use the College Web Pro client editing system to edit your website. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the pages, how to change the page title on your website, and I'm going to show you how to add and remove pages to and from your website. Um, I'm going to show you how to add sub pages on your website and I'm going to show you how to add a logo onto your website. Um, so in this screen you'll see the College Web Pro Client Editing System login screen. So type in your email address and type in the temporary password that I gave you and then click on the, um, the green button that says log in. and then it'll ask you to enter in a new password. So just pick out a new password that's easy for you to remember. And then click on the orange button that says save. Then click on my site. And then you should see the name of your business here. Um, in, this, in this series of tutorials, I'm just going to use a fake business called A to Z Landscaping as the example, but you'll see your business name here. And then you'll see an orange button that says Edit Site to the right. Click on Edit Site. So you'll see um, the website here. This is the editing screen for the website. You'll see four tabs on the top that say Build, Design, Pages, and Settings. And then if you hold your mouse on the left-hand side, these are the elements of things that you can add to your site. Um, I'll cover those a bit later. But for now, um, I'm going to show you how to change the page title. So let's say that instead of having the number two, you thought it looked a bit more professional if that two was spelled out. So to change the page title, what you want to do is click on the settings tab at the top. And then um, click on general. And now look down and you'll see where it says site title. And then you'll see the title there. Click on change. And instead of the number two, you can just type in 2 and then click on the orange button that says save and then now if you click on build you'll see that you successfully changed the title of your website so now I'm going to show you how to add and remove pages to and from the website so click on pages at the top let's say you wanted to put in like a frequently asked questions page um, so click on add page then click on standard page and you'll see it adds a new page to the bottom so type in the name of the page that you want to add and then you can drag and drop the page wherever you want it to go so frequently people have the contact us page last so I just dragged and dropped the Frequently Asked Questions page right before that, that last page there. Um, it'll automatically put in a header, so I'm just going to click on No Header. Um, I'm going to explain the header thing a little bit more in Lesson 5, but for now just click on No Header and then click on Save and Edit. So you can see that you successfully added a fifth page called Frequently Asked Questions or Fact. And um, now, so I'm going to show you now how to remove a page. So, so let's say that you changed your mind and you want to remove the Frequently Asked Questions page. Just click on Pages, click the page that you want to remove, and then click on Delete Page, Confirm. And now if you click back to the build screen, you'll see that the, whoops, I guess for some reason it left it in there. Oh, okay. So after you delete it, you have to click on the save and edit button. 
and that'll remove the frequently asked questions page so you don't see it anymore. So now I'm going to show you how to how to add and remove sub pages from the website. So sub pages are the pages that scroll down and that are options from another page. So these sub pages, landscaping and mulching, I guess this person wants to have separate pages devoted to these landscaping and mulching services that they offer. So if you want to add sub pages, you click on the pages menu again. You add a standard page, and then let's say you wanted another sub page, so you drag it under. Um, you drag it under where you want the sub page to go. You can call it anything you want. Sprinkler repair. Click on no header again, and then click on save and edit. Now you'll see that you successfully added a sub page, another sub page to the R services page. And you can attach sub pages um, to any page that you want. And now the last thing I'm going to show you is how to add a logo to the website. So you'll notice that the page title on the website is text. See, just text that you can highlight. But it looks better if you have a nice logo, if you have a logo there on the on the top instead of just text. So click on logo. And then um, I guess I already uploaded one, so I'll do it again. So hover your mouse above the page title and then click on logo. And then drag the file, the logo file from your computer. It should be an image file of some kind. Drag that image file here and then drop it. Now you can see that the page title, the text, is replaced by the image that you just dropped. And if you click on edit, you can enlarge or decrease the size or change the position of the logo on the website. You can even add effects like black and white. So after you um, finish adding the logo, just click on save, and there, you've successfully added a logo to the website instead of the text. So that's it for the first tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and thanks so much for watching.